Friday night at Target Center, further proof, the Minnesota Lynx, in 2018, cannot win when neither Maya Moore nor Sylvia Fowles plays well. It is a fact, undeniable. Against Las Vegas, both struggled. And the Lynx lost 85-77. Outscored, outrebounded, outrun, outscored off the bench, the Lynx, 12-9, open their three-game homestand, their longest of the season, with their fourth home loss of the season. Moore finished with 12 points on 5 for 14. Fowles, who played through a second-half twisted ankle took only 9 shots, made 2 for just 7 points to go with 17 rebounds. And the Lynx fell to 0-8 when both players failed to score 20 points in a game. Lindsay Whalen had 22 points, her first 20-point game since August of 2016 and Simone Augustus had 14. Temi Fag Benel scored 10, but it wasn't enough to stop the Aces 10-12 who won their fourth straight. They got 24 points from Kayla McBride, 11 from Kelsey Plum, 13 points from Tamara Young and 11 points and 10 rebounds from Carolyn Swords off the bench. The Lynx never led in the second half. Pre-game it appeared that, with Rebecca Brunson missing her second game with a thigh injury, the Lynx would struggle containing rookie aces forward A.J.A. Wilson. Wilson scored 11 with 15 points, including a driving layup with 46.3 seconds left that put the aces up 5. But 4 of 5 Las Vegas starters scored in double figures and the aces shot 49.2% as a team. Down 8 in the 4th, the Lynx drew within 74-70 on Fag Benley's fast break hoop. But that's as close as they got, because the Lynx just couldn't consistently get stops down the stretch. In a back-and-forth first quarter the Lynx tried to match the pace of the Aces, who lead the league in that regard. It was hit, Whalen had 7 and Zandalusini had 6 and they were a combined 5 for 7, and Miss Moore was 1 for 5. The Lynx did a decent job slowing Wilson, who had just 3 points in the quarter, but they couldn't slow McBride, who had 10 points on 3 for 4 shooting. The Lynx led by as many as 5 but trailed with the quarter clock ticking down. Danielle Robinson took a jumper from the top of the key, and Zandalosini snuck in for the putback at the buzzer, putting the Lynx up 26-25 entering the second quarter. The Aces started the second quarter strong, going up 32-28, on Mariah Jefferson's three-pointer. But then Whalen had eight points in a 9-0 run. After Fowles made one of two free throws, the Aces turned the ball over, then Whalen hit an open three. After another Aces turnover Whalen drove, scored and made the free throw. After an Aces miss Whalen was fouled and made both free throws for a 37-32 lead. But, just when it looked like the Lynx were establishing some control, the Aces came flying back. Plum's three-pointer started a 15-5 run that included five points from McBride to take a 47-42 lead. There was an 8-0 run at the end of that stretch which was finally ended by Fowles free throw with less than a minute left in the half. Down 6, Augustus hit a three-pointer to cut the Aces lead to 49-46 at the end of the half. The Aces were up 6 when Whalen hit a 3-pointer. After an Aces miss Whalen fed Augustus for a basket and a foul. Unfortunately, Augustus was called for a technical so, while she made her free throw, the Lynx still trailed. And the Lynx continued to struggle slowing McBride, who scored 9 points in the third quarter, the Aces pushed their lead to 68-62 entering the fourth quarter.